pop quiz time. What do PV inverters, refrigerators, and e-compressors have in common? Okay, there may be quite a few answers, but I'll give you a hint. It only has four letters. If you guessed IGBT, you're right. IGBTs, or insulated gate bipolar transistors, are a great choice of power semiconductors for a wide range of industrial, automotive, consumer, and renewable energy applications. But why is that? I'm glad you asked. Let's get into it. Hi, I'm Amelia Dalton, host of Chalk Talk. In this episode of Chalk Talk, Heath Ogodisu from Rome Semiconductor and I investigate the benefits of Rome Semiconductor's RGW and RGWS series of IGBTs. We explore how the soft switching of these hybrid IGBTs contribute to energy savings and power generation efficiency, and why these IGBTs provide a well-balanced solution for switching and cost. And before we get started, don't forget to click that link. There you can find even more information about this topic from Rome Semiconductor. Hi, Heath. Thank you so much for joining me. Hi, I'm Mario. So we're talking about Rome's RGW and RGWS series of IGBTs today. But first, Heath, can you give us some background? What exactly is an IGBT? Word IGBT stands for Insulated Gate Bipolar Transistor. IGBT is a bipolar device that utilizes two types of carriers, electron and holes, resulting from the complex configuration that features a MOSFET structure at the input block and bipolar output, making it a transistor that can achieve low saturation voltage with relatively fast switching characteristics. IGBTs work good in these applications, renewable energy, automotive, home appliance, and motor application. Okay, so specifically, what kind of solutions does Rome offer in this realm? Rome have five types of high-power devices. I suppose most people in market are more interested in cutting-edge technologies like silicon carbide and gallium nitride. But what I want to mention today is that silicon-based IGBT devices could be best solution for low-frequency applications, mainly between 1 kHz to 100 kHz in any of power ranges. Okay, so what kind of applications is this series best suited for? Rome has a variety of IGBT series suitable for each application, classified by short-circuit with sound time requirements. Today, I will introduce 650 volts RGW series and RGWS series, which is suitable for primary side of power supplies, UPS, PV inverters, and other consumer and industrial applications. Okay, so what kind of designs would these solutions be a good fit for? Our RGW and RGWS series IGBT fits well in DC-DC converter portion of applications with AC power inputs. Also, these RGW and RGWS series fits to PFC portion as well. This slide shows a block diagram of PB inverter. In this application, our RGW series IGBT fits to inverter portion, which have DC to AC function. Okay, so... How does this series of IGBTs from Rome compare with other solutions on the market today, especially when it comes to energy savings? Graph in the center is showing the result of efficiency comparison in PB inverter board, comparing Rome's RGW series with our previous generation RGTH series and with one of best in class competitor part. As you can see, RGW part shows improvement from our previous generation and marked the same level efficiency as best in class competitor part. Well, efficiency is same, but Rome's RGW part shows advantage in turn off waveform. I will explain a little bit more in detail about turn off waveform in later slide. What about the efficiency compared with silicon carbide devices? 
What are the advantages of using IGBTs? From the difference of physical properties, silicon carbide MOSFETs will have about 60% less power loss, which means higher efficiency. But instead of higher efficiency, silicon carbide devices cost roughly about double of IGBTs. This is why I want to ask customers to evaluate IGBTs, not only silicon carbide MOSFETs. Also, Rome's RGW series includes products with built-in silicon carbide Schottky barrier diodes, known as hybrid IGBT. This hybrid IGBT will have closer efficiency with silicon carbide MOSFETs. So we also need to consider cost versus switching here as well, right? Right. I think most of engineers are concerning about trade-off between performance and cost. Three bar graph in the center is showing comparison of losses, switching on loss, switching off loss, and reverse recovery loss. Hybrid IGBT in purple has highest switching off loss, but very low loss comparable with silicon carbide MOSFET in switching on and in reverse recovery losses. Rome's hybrid IGBT could be a great solution for engineers having issue between performance and cost. Okay, so when we are considering our options here, what other benefits do Rome IGBTs bring to the table? Rome's RGW series has benefits on thermal performance and overshoot voltage as well. Graph in the center is showing case temperature change in switching on and off operation. And bar graph in the light is showing difference of temperature from lowest to highest. As you can see, RGW series has lower temperature than competitor A, but still higher than competitor B. But when you look into turnoff behavior, both competitor A and competitor B part had high overshoot around 200 volts, while RGW part stays under 150 volts. Okay, so can we also take a closer look at the switching waveforms of these solutions as well? Yes, let's look into actual turnoff waveforms. I have Rome's RGW part waveform on the left-hand side, and on the right-hand side, I have two waveforms from competitor B, which had best thermal performance in previous slide, with different gate resistance conditions. I'm showing two results under different gate resistance because increasing gate resistance is a general way to reduce overshoot and ringing. Please look at blue curves in each waveform showing BCE voltage. Competitor B part has 244 volts overshoot at 10 ohm condition and that reduces to 152 volt by increasing gate resistance to 33 ohm, which will make switching slower. But Rome's RGW parts only have 120 volts overshoot, even with initial 10 ohm condition, and smooth waveform without linking. This means RGW series has very less risk of unexpected turn on and arm short during operation. This slide shows product portfolio of RGW series. We have collector current lineup from 40 amp to 132 amp in TO247 package. Each product has two or three versions, one without built-in diode, one with built-in diode, and part number ends with HR or ACQ101 qualified ones for automotive applications. Table on the top shows product portfolio for RGWS series for PFC circuits, and bottom table shows our plan for four-pin type product for faster switching. This table is showing our hybrid IGBT portfolio. Parts in last two slides had built-in silicon-based fast recovery diode, but hybrid IGBT has built-in silicon carbide Schottky barrier diode, which enables to reduce switching loss dramatically. And at last, I want to tell you that Rome also have 650 volt and 1200 volt IGBTs with long short circuit with sound time which fits great to automotive applications. Fantastic. Well, Heath, I think that's all I have time for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Yeah, thank you, Mario. And before we go, you didn't forget to click that link, did you? There you can find even more information about this topic from Rome Semiconductor. For Chalk Talks, I'm Amelia Dalton from eejournal.com.
For more Chalk Talks, head on over to the Chalk Talk section of EE Journal. You can't miss it, it's right across the top. Or head on over to YouTube, youtube.com slash EE Journal.